channel so as many of you know on Wednesday I had all four of my wisdom teeth removed so that is why my face is kind of large and in charge I have a massive bruise right here I'm not sure if you can see it through my makeup you probably can it probably looks a bit muddy but you will see how puffy my face is and the massive bruise that I have I have like stitches all in the back of my mouth at the moment and today I was feeling semi okay so I thought why not go ahead and film like a what I do when I'm sick kind of morning routine and I really wish I could smile right now but this is like as good as it gets like <laughs> it's really weird I can't make facial expressions the way that I normally want to I feel like I have to keep a very straight mouth um so yeah I just went ahead and filmed what I've been doing for the last four days but this is kind of the same routine that I use whenever I'm sick it's basically just wake up eat food have a shower and make a nest on the couch and watch tv all day but I turned it into a video so I thought I would share it with you also like really struggling to talk a lot throughout the video so I apologize if it like I sound because it's hard talking with stitches and like a big fat swollen mouth so yeah anyways I'm doing good surgery went well everything's been really smooth and really nice and I'm gonna be back to making regular videos next week which I'm excited about so uh, if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and let's get started so you know how when you wake up in the morning when you're sick and you feel worse than any other time of the day, or at least I do, I always feel completely unrefreshed and just ugh when I wake up, but eventually I have to drag myself out of bed and when I finally do, because when I'm sick I like to sleep in for as long as my body will let me, I will get out of bed and I will head straight into the kitchen. So the first thing I've been doing each morning is starting with a cup of tea and some breakfast because I can't eat a lot of normal foods. I'm kind of hungry a lot more than what I usually am. So I start with breakfast straight up and I have my English breakfast tea, which is my favorite tea. And then I also add a little bit of my rice milk. And then for breakfast, which I found really easy to eat with my teeth being, you know, all chopped up the way they are, uh, is actually just making some oats. So I'm just not even using this measuring spoon like I have it, but I'm not even using it and I didn't put enough water in but I just mix oats and water and then I put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half and then um, once that's done I like to take it out and give it a mix through and put in some rice milk then that's kind of how I make it really milky and I mix that all together and then to just sweeten it up a little bit I'm gonna put in a little bit of brown sugar Then I make my way to the couch where I have created a nest for myself. I like to nest it up on the couch so I bring my breakfast with me and I just go ahead and watch some YouTube or some TV or whatever it is that I feel like watching in the morning and just kind of relax and go ahead and eat all of my delicious breakfast. <music> Once I've finished up on the couch, I make my way to the bathroom. I have to clean out my teeth every time I eat and I'm attempting to brush them as best as I can. I can really only kind of stick to the front of my teeth when brushing right now. But then I also have this Servcol stuff by Colgate that I put into the lid and then I use this syringe to suck it up and rinse out the back of the teeth where my stitches are from having all of my wisdom teeth removed. So I just go ahead and kind of rinse out my mouth and clean it all out. So once I've rinsed out my mouth, I'm going to have a shower to freshen up because when you're sick, you just feel so ugh. And I always feel 10,000 times better once I have a shower. So on this particular day, I'm going to wash my hair. I don't wash my hair every day. It's like every second, or every third day, but just for today's video, I'm going to include it. So my purple shampoo that I have currently been using is the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel Shampoo. I love this stuff. You only need a little bit to get it like super foamy and it just, I don't know, it tones my hair really well. Ever since using Kevin Murphy products, I've noticed a huge difference in how healthy my hair is so I go ahead and rinse the sh purple shampoo out of my hair and then I go in with another Kevin Murphy product and this is kind of like a wash and conditioning product in one even though I just washed my hair I still use it as a conditioning product and this is like a milk and it is like the best thing it's called like restore and it's the best thing that I have ever used in my hair and I actually do kind of put this at the roots I know I don't normally do conditioner at the roots but this one easily rinses out but it still leaves my hair super super soft and I like to leave this one sitting in my hair for a while so then I will go ahead and wash my body and wash my face and then rinse out my hair last so for my body I'm using my Mo Deer shower gel this smells like deliciousness grapefruit like it's such a fun summery 
warm scent kind of thing and I feel like it just kind of wakes you up in the morning when you have like a fresh fresh citrus fruit I apologize it's still kind of hard to talk with all the stitches and the puffiness but I'm trying really hard so I have a little loofah that I use that to foam up and then I'm using my Modia cleanser to wash my face and get rid of all the yuckiness that I have while I'm sleeping during the night <laughs> Then I just go ahead and rinse off my face and rinse all the Kevin Murphy Restore product out of my hair. And this is when my hair is literally like silk. It is so soft. I Seriously, you have to check out the Kevin Murphy products. I cannot rave enough about them, even though they're really expensive. I just, I really love them that much. <laughs> So then I head to my bedroom to pick out some fresh pajamas because I don't like wearing old pajamas when I'm sick. I kind of like fresh pajamas every day. I don't know, it's just my thing. And then I sit down to do all of my skincare and my hair. So the first product I'm using is my Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray and I love this. I spray this on my face every time I get out of the shower and it's just really refreshing. And then this is the OptiLash Lash Serum that is from Mecca and I'm still new to this so I don't really have a say on the results yet because I can't really tell but this is like a lash serum and I just put this in along my lash lines and then I'm using the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream um, Moisturizer that is like anti-aging as well. I love this stuff. It's super thick and it's really good for my skin because I have more on the dry side of skin and I just take a really good time moisturizing this in all over my face and all down my neck and to my decolletage. I normally have an eye cream, uh, but I've misplaced it. So I'm gonna have to go and hunt for that. So that's just not in this video. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair. Even though I'm not like cold sick or have the flu, I still don't like having wet hair when I'm sick. So I'm gonna go and use my Zala brush to brush it through. This is my new favorite brush. It is amazing at detangling hair. <laughs> And then I'm just going to, I'd say, 90% dry my hair. It gets a bit hot kind of sitting there with it being fully dry, so I just kind of do it until I get sick of being hot. But I'm just using my GHD hair dryer to make sure that my hair is nice and dry. I would really recommend this if you do have a cold or have the flu because it is quite bad to have wet hair when you are sick. Then I'm just gonna give my hair another little brush through, get out any of the knots, and then I am good to go and head back out to the living room. So once I've done my hair and my skincare, I just head back out to the couch and I get super comfy. I watch some more TV or some YouTube videos and pretty much just let my body recover and deal with whatever it is that my body is trying to deal with. And I do like to sleep as well. I feel like sleeping is really good for you when you're trying to recover from an illness. That's my sick morning routine, whether it's like sick like I've just had surgery or whether I have a cold, it's kind of the same thing. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I'll have a link to a video that I made like a year ago called What to Do When You're Sick. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.